And we back! Today I combined the Kobe era with the modern era. I took the top five players in every team in the Kobe era and threw them on that same exact organization in modern time. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's one roster that is extremely, I mean extremely OP. You could probably guess what it is. Today we're trying to see what team will win a championship if we combine Kobe era and modern era. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. All right, so this is, this is about to be extremely fun. Joel Embiid and Allen Iverson, also with James Harden, with Keith Van Horn, Eric Snow, Derek Coleman, old self, and Aaron McKee. Um, this team is tough. I'm gonna be honest with you. This team is extremely, extremely tough. If Tyrese Maxey is your sixth man, you probably doing something right. Oh, I'm sorry. They got him starting. We'll change that. There's Allen Iverson in the start lineup. Um... I think they should start Keith Van Horn and Tobias Harris together low-key. Aaron McKee could come off the bench because that's what he was doing anyway back then. So this is what the new team looks like. I know Keith Van Horn is hot, by the way. He's the same overall as Tobias Harris. His contract, four years, $1,800,000, while Tobias Harris got two years, $76 million left. Man, times have changed. I mean, we're really really talking about 20 years of time between this roster and this roster. So, obviously, uh, the contracts are crazy. But, man, 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 you getting finesse, Keith. Next team. The Bucks team is actually not too bad. I'd probably still start Drew Holiday, even though Sam Cassell is pretty nice. So, we're looking at Drew Holiday, Ray Allen, Chris Middleton. Okay, the rest of the team's the same. But off the bench, you got Sam Cassell, Michael Red, Tony Kukoc at 34. But he's still Tony Kukoc. And they also got Tim Thomas. The Bulls, not much changed. Uh, this is not a great era for the Bulls. This is like post-Jordan era. So we got Daniel Marshall, who at one point held the record for most threes in an NBA game until like Steph Curry came and Klay Thompson came to the league. And then that, that record that he held doesn't matter anymore. But we got like a young Jalen. Oh, he's not young. I'm sorry. A almost 30-year-old Jalen Rose, a young Tyson Chandler, 20 years old. And then Jay Williams, um without the accident which is actually a cool little storyline what would happen to jay wheel if he wasn't in the accident um either way the cavaliers add ricky davis to the start lineup they got big z coming off the bench bro they already had a crazy front court core and now they got big z coming off the bench with booze with kevin love ricky rubio don't get no pt in his universe but they also got darius miles low-key darius miles at 75 you could probably take those minutes down give him to karis because he is the better player i gotta make this change for them paul pierce has to be starting over antoine walker so jt moves over to the foe Paul Pierce, the truth, not in his prime. Also rocking the number four. Um, don't pay attention to these, by the way, because these are, like I said, we saved other people and put them in the, you understand. Either way, Antoine Walker's on the team now. You got like Tony Delph down here. Vin Baker made the roster. They ain't, they ain't really that good. But you got, you got Paul Pierce, you got Antoine Walker. Those are big upgrades to a team that just went to the finals. Um, we got Andre Miller. Hmm. I think we start Elton Brand 1,000%. You got uh, young Lamar, 22 years old. You got Corey Maggette, John Wall. I think the big upgrade is them getting that center in Elton Brand and then also having like a true, true point guard at the one. Pal, Jay Williams, Shane Battier, and Wesley Par uh, Person are the people. And Drew, Drew Gooden, um, not the YouTuber. This is a pretty good lineup, man. With Pal here now, this is a 22-year-old Pal, but he's still nice. The Hawks got some upgrades. They got Glenn Robinson. They got Sharif Abdul-Rahim. And they also got uh, Jason Terry, the Jet, Theo Ratcliffe, Ratliff. Um, so they got they got a really nice rotation for sure. The Heat add Eddie Jones and Brian Grant, uh, which makes sense that Tyler Hero's going back to that bench role. So that's dope. They got Tough Juice, old Alonzo Mourning at 32 years old. But they filled out their roster quite a bit. The Hornets have Jamal Mashburn on the team, man. One of the better players in their franchise history, so that's cool. Baron Davis is here, but he's only 23 years old, so he ain't out there going crazy. But those are pretty much the only people they added to be in the rotation. The Jazz have old John Stockton, old Carl Malone, but a young AK-47. I mean, put AK-47 in this era. He is one of the most valuable players in all the bass. One of the more valuable non-superstar players to say that and all the basketball that man was a swiss army knife it didn't matter he could guard your ones if maybe not so much he could guard like two through five in a really good spot he has a five by five so he's gonna block steals assists rebounds man they weren't ready for ak-47 greg Oster tag is starting so let's move on to the next team they got mike bibby doug christy page and stoyakovich oh with, with keegan murray and sabonis 
How do we run this, bro? Vladdy Divac is on the bench. How do we run this? Because right now they got De'Aaron Fox coming off the bench, and that just feels wrong. But Mike Bibley's only 6'1". Doug Christie can, can run the three. Pager can run the four, so the rookie come off the bench. I mean, we could do this and just say forget about the fact that we got 6'1 and 6'3". But I feel like the rookie can't be getting all of these minutes on this team right now. Not when they trying to win. This is a solid roster. A lot of point guard play. Not a lot of wing play. The Knicks add Allen Houston to the starting lineup. Latrell Sweetwell and Kurt Thomas. And that's pretty much it. Not, not the great, greatest era of Knicks basketball. So you remember that team in the beginning? I was like, oh, one team is super OP. What about a team with Derek Fisher, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Shaq? Is that OP or no? Like, I can see the argument that it's not because everything else around them is so mid. But if you got four 90 plus overalls and three of them being 96 and above, actually, I'm saying OP. You, def you definitely got to say OP. But again, their starting point guard is D. Fish. But it doesn't matter if you got LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Russ, Patrick Beverly. And like, the bench players ain't great. Robert Ory's on the team. How old are you, Robert Ory? 32 years old. The top four is enough, I think. But it ain't an untouchable team, bro. It's not an untouchable team. The Magic at T-Mac. Oh, and the older Grant Hill. Post-injury Grant Hill, 30 years old. Uh, Mike Miller, former Rookie of the Year on the bench. That's, that's it. I mean, the Mavericks had a huge upgrade, if you ask me. I mean, they got Steve Nash. They got Dirk. They got Michael Finley. And then Nick Van Exel. Nick the Quick. They got Ray of Friends, if you needed a 10th man in the rotation. Dallas is actually scary because I know what Sim Luka is like. I know Sim Luka is, is a madman, and there's not a lot of people that can stop him. And at, now you add in a 24-year-old Dirk on the roster. You add in Michael Finley, who could do a little bit of everything. And then Steve Nash, one of the greatest point guards. This is pre-champions. Not pre-championships. He ain't getting none of those. This is pre-MVP Steve Nash. You know what I'm saying? But it's still a really good version of him. Also, the Nets, bro. The Nets got it. Yeah, I didn't even think about the Nets, bro. This team made it to the finals two times during this era. And Jason Kidd was like one of the best point guards in basketball, if not the best point guard in basketball. There's some arguments to go either way. Um, but he is at the one. Kyrie is at the two. Kevin Durant at the three. Kenyon Martin at the four. And Claxton is down there. But you can, hey, you can run some sit. Look, you can do, man, we running Simmons. And then you got RJ on the bench. We carry Kittles. Come on, dog. This roster's insane. Now, they don't have a ton of front court play for sure, but they got old to Kim and Batumbo if you need somebody to go out there and jump two inches off the ground and potentially get a block. They got they got something there, bro. Yeah, yeah, this team could rival that Laker team. They got more depth, that's for sure. The Nuggets add James Posey, Jawan Howard. This was one of the lowest overall, if not the lowest overall team in the league then. So they didn't give really any upgrades. Um... So we move. The Pacers add Jermaine O'Neal to their core. Uh, also get Al Harrington, Jeff Foster. Okay, we get into points. Where it's like, ah. Uh, yeah, Jonathan Bender is one of the people. And Eric Strickland, who I don't even know anything about. The Pelicans starting lineup did not change because they did not exist in. Right, okay, next. Uh, <laughs> the Pistons add Chauncey Billups, Cliff Robinson, and... Hey, hey, the Pistons got some upgrades, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Pistons got some upgrades. When you got Rip coming off the bench. Hey, low-key, Sadiq, you got to come off the bench. Rip has to start, bro. Rip has to start. Um, and this is pre-trade that you saw happen in basketball like a day or so ago. So Bogdanovich is not on this roster. Because I'm we made these rosters a couple date like a week ago at this point. So, um, But the Pistons are nice. The Pistons got a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Some youth. And some some old, and it's not actually maybe not even old. He's 28. The Raptors added Vince Carter, and then Antonio Davis, and who else? Oh, Hakeem Olajuwon and Jerome Williams. But uh, Vince Carter's on the roster. Enough said. That's that's Vince Carter's here. He's only 25, so he's not even a 90 overall club, but he's VC. Steve Francis and Yao Ming. This is rookie Yao, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe year two Yao. Either way, Yao Ming is here with an old Glenn Rice, 35 years old. Uh, they got Katino Mobley at 20. Man. Katino Mobley to this day is giving people buckets, bro. It's so crazy. He's like full gray bearded. He is elite still. Um, ooh. Oh, this is crazy. Their entire starting five is their starting five in 2002. The Spurs, they have one player that will be a starter if these two wor wor uh, worlds collided. So it's TP, 
is uh, Steven Jackson is Bruce, Br yeah, Bruce Brown, Bruce Bowen, on uh, Tim Duncan and, and the Admiral. Uh, so yeah, the Suns got it too. Sean Marion and, and Stat added to this roster. Now, 2K don't be giving the Suns any respect or any love in these simulations, but they have to now. This is one of the more complete starting fives we've seen today. Legit, one of the more complete. They got defense on the wings. They got they got stat. They got the point guard to throw lobs to Amari Stoudemire, Aiden doing whatever Aiden does. Stephon Marbury off the bench at an 86. Penny Hardaway. How old are you, Penny? 31. Yeah, he got a, he had a lot of injuries. So um, either way, Joe jo Joe Young Joe Johnson is back, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know he played here the first couple years of his career. Uh, but he's back. The Thunder get Rashad Lewis, Brenton Barry, Gary Payton. There you go. 34-year-old Gary Payton, Desmond Mason. Um, and that, that's that's it. Yeah, okay, we got we gotta change this. Jalen Noel, you gotta go to the bench because Wally Zerviak is here. How, what, what, okay, 88. It's 88-3. So Wally Zerviak and KG are the additions. Three-time defensive player here, don't matter. KG is in town. Go to the bench, Rudy. Go to the bench. It's KG. Joe Smith is here as well. Uh, but you got the top end talent and getting KG in the, in the house. So, hey, it's getting kind of crazy. The Trailblazers add Scottie Pippen. But not the Scottie Pippen. You know what I'm saying? Eric Dampier. Antoine Jameson. Gilbert Arenas at 20 years old. Jay Richardson. Okay. They added more guard and wing play. They low-key needed some front court play. But Eric Dampier, I guess, holds it down, it holds it down a little bit, I, I, I guess. And lastly... The Wizards add MJ. Yeah. I mean, hey, they actually... Oh, they <laughs> they want Bradley Beal to go to the bench. Bradley Beal, second their position in the game, is a point guard. So, we're going to run Bradley Beal at the one. MJ at the two. Stack at the three. Kuzma and Porzingis. That ain't... That ain't too crazy. All right, that's all 30 organizations, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to simulate to the all-star draft and see who makes the all-star teams. This video is really about making the playoffs and watching some playoff matchups where some of the greatest of all time from both eras go head to head. Uh, so we basically waiting until then, but I do want to see who's making the all-star game. All-star draft, let's see who the captains are. Joel Embiid and LeBron. Dang, the 76 has got to be going up right now. LeBron drafted KD, Giannis, Luka, and T-Mac versus Steph Curry, Jokic, KG, and, and Jason Kidd. Dang, they get, he got all the centers. Hey, I mean, the two best centers in basketball on the same team. The best point guard in the game right now. And Jason Kidd is there as well. Kawhi DeMar DeRozan still making it for Chicago, man. You got to bring a 10 of our eye. Uh, Jason Tatum, Trey Young, Kobe, AI, Jamal Mashburn. Okay, Mash. 26, 6, and 5? 50, 40, 86? Oh, I can't wait to look at stats, man. James Harden, Jimmy Butler, Chris Paul, John Moran, Tim, Timmy D. What you have to 25 and 12 and a half? Hey, if the Spurs make the playoffs with their five, it's crazy. And then Shaq is averaging about 22 and 11 with four and a half assists. So the Lakers had three of their four 90 overall players make the All-Star game. So the Lakers must be dominating. You don't get three All-Stars if you ain't dominating. And they're doing exactly that. Anthony Davis didn't even make it, y'all. Think about that. Well, well, his, well, well, somebody had to take a... Take a roll cut, and it was Anthony Davis. Who is the worst team in basketball? Currently, it is the Knicks and the Whoa. MJ couldn't bring these boys to the promised land. Dang, MJ. You got adjusted. Oh, there's a trade. Y'all got Aiden. I'm here for trades. Oh, I'm definitely here for trades. If y'all want to trade y'all best player. Who did y'all trade? Mm. Let's go see what the Suns are up to, because they obviously didn't feel like they needed a center right now. They traded for Porzingis. For the stretchability so Stoudemire can work down low. The fact that y'all are the 12th best record in basketball is so dis disappointing because 76 is out doing their thing, though. They're doing their thing. AI's only averaging 17. James Harden's averaging 20. You know, and, and we got potential MVP right here in Joel Embiid. He was the all-star game captain, by the way. So, I mean, things are going interestingly. Um, Man, the Knicks really not out. Allen Houston can bring a little bit of... Look at it. I mean, he had a spark. He shooting 51, 44, 87. So he's added some spark for sure. But they ain't got nothing else. Latrell and Tom Thibodeau, they must be going at it, bro. <laughs> Latrell Speed 1, Tom Thibodeau must be going at it. Yeah, the Spurs aren't good either. Uh, Tim Duncan, shout out to you. Where's David Robinson? Oh, he's old. Right. He's 37. 
Um, Tim Duncan, shout out to you. 25 and 13 still ain't enough to get this team close to 500. Houston Rockets are bad too. Yao's only averaging 12 and 12. What's your shot, Tennessee, y'all? I'm very curious. 60. That's why he's only averaging those numbers. Detroit basketball I thought was going to be an interesting, sneaky team, but they are not. They decided to send uh, this man Rip to the bench, and he is upset with that because he should be. He's I'm Rip Hamilton, bro. I'm coming off the bench for Cor 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 Corlys Williamson? Stop. Stop. Trade me. The uh, champion Warriors are tanking. They traded for John Collins, which is that Draymond Green is off the roster. Uh, so that's something. They have a worse record than OKC right now. But OKC did have Rashad Lewis, who had a torch on him. But he is also upset with the situation. Everybody's upset with the situation. Surprised that Dallas is not working better. Below 500. The Bulls are above 500. Hey, man, shout out to John Stockton, who we traded for. I get Where is the Jazz? We traded Tyson Chandler for John Stockton. Dang, we so low, didn't we, for that old old man on the roster. If y'all don't win that championship, that trade is stupid. This man is 40. He's still kind of point guarding out there with the nine assists, but like he's 40 and you had Lonzo, who is not 40. I did the math, he is not 40. And um, it's close to the same overall, but hey, you're above 500, you're the 15th best team in basketball, you're an average team basically. Um, Whatever, whatever, hey. The Heat are getting some love in 2K. You'd love to see that. The Cavs are elite. Big Z. Oh, they put Darius Miles back in the starting lineup. They signed Miles Bridges. That's not great. I wouldn't do that if I was a GM. Um, hey, anyway, we go to the playoffs to see if somebody can make a late, late push to make the, the, the last spots, whatever. Oh, man, LeBron James does it again. Getting another MVP at the age of 38 years old. 25, 9 and a half, and about 8. Yao Ming won Rookie of the Year. Gary Payton won Sixth Man of the Year. Ben Wallace wins Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, Jason Terry, Most Improved. Interesting. Ime Udoka. Probably is not really in the running for this award in real life this year, is he? Um, so that's something. Luka, Jason Kidd, LeBron, Giannis, and Joel Embiid. Ja, LaMelo, Tim Duncan, KG. Man, it's good to see Tim Duncan and KG, bro. Uh, Jamal Masber. There you go, Mash. Jimmy Butler, Trey Young, and T-Mac, and Shaq. Defensive team sees Kobe, Sean Marion, Ben Wallace, and Jason Kidd. AI makes a defensive team, which is funny. AI never made a defensive team in his career, but he always, I think he led the league in steals like five times just to showcase that steals don't mean great defense. AI showed that, but the steals are cool. Steals are definitely cool, but it don't mean great defense. But uh, in the game of 2K, I think it does. Uh, Mark Stoudemire, also a rookie in this class. So that's fun. All right. Let's see what we got. Who made it? Who missed? I think this kind of held his way as far as what teams made it. I, I mean, seating wise, of course, it's probably changing every single week. But like these are the teams that I'm pretty sure were at the top. Uh, look at this. Look at this, though. The bunch up from the play in to the three seed was one game. The, the Hawks lost the last two games of basketball. And that put them in the play-in. And then the <laughs> then the Heat won their last four. So they went from a play-in team to a guaranteed first round home court advantage. That's insane. So yeah, we got some good parity over here, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean out out west, it's like Lakers and others. It's legit. Aaron Gordon plays for the team now. Uh, so that's another increase. They traded Patrick Beverly. Trade Patrick Beverly. I mean, that's actually a really good pickup for them, too. Wow. Henry Gordon. Um, yeah, the playing around here kind of me at the Eastern Conference like it is, you know, is where it's at. This team has a negative point differential guaranteed playoff spot. How is that even possible? How did y'all do it? Damian Lillard being Dame? Not really. This is a down, another down year. I mean, the shooting splits are amazing. But, like, he only averaged 23 points. Somebody else had to come in and average a bunch, right? Scotty only averaged 9. Nurkic averaged 13. Jeremy Grant definitely gets some good buckets. Simon's average 14. Okay, so you got a lot of people averaging around the, the 9 to 14, 15. So, okay. Dame didn't need to do all of the work. And then the worst team, Houston Rockets. Worst record than Utah Jazz is sad. Um, but, hey, you just you you got Jalen Green in the previous draft. And you just got you got Jabbar Smith and Yao Ming in the same draft class. I think y'all lied. Not for today's video. But like long term, you got you got Yao Ming, Jabari Smith Jr., Jalen Green. Y'all be cool. It's just the, the point differential is insane. But that's not worse than what the Wizards was up to. Sheesh. Shout out to uh, MJ 
for giving you 18, 5 and 5 and being fun. But man, the point difference point differential is a minus 13.2. All right, play-in sees Jokic versus, bro, the Suns making a play-in is disgusting. That's so bad for them, bro. That's so bad when you look at what they roster look like, man. I don't really care about the play-in. Get me to the seven-game series, please. And the Suns didn't even make it, bro. Y'all are crazy. Sean Marion, Amari Stoudemire, Devin Booker, Porzingis, and Chris Paul with, with Steel Cam Johnson... Mikael Bridges, Stefan Marbury, like how do you not at least make the, and you traded for Daniel Gaffer in that Porzingis trade. You don't make the playoffs, bro? That's sad, bro. That's sad. Because in this first round, I only look and see if there's a game seven. And just like that, we got two game sevens. I, I, oh, we have four game seven. I said two because I was only looking out on this side of the bracket. Okay. So we got Bucks Heat in the game seven. Um... The Bucks have the better roster, in my opinion. And are they the higher seed? They are the lower seed. So they trying to go into, what is it, the FTX? Is that what it's called now? FTX Arena and steal one. But the way this is going, that ain't happening, ladies and gentlemen. The Bucks get eliminated with Ray Allen. Ray Allen had a couple playoff series with Milwaukee where he was elite, elite. I was looking at some stats and some highlights from those like a couple weeks ago. Elite level play from him. Did not really do that in this simulation. Um, but I mean, he was doing that in real life. What, what would you rather have a really good sim game or a really good real life game? I know, I know my own personal answer. So let's see. This is Dame and company versus KG and company and Dame and them are crazy good and good enough to eliminate KG, Anthony Edwards, Carl Towns. This team was underwhelming. This, KG gave you a 15 point, 13 rebound, 13 assist game and you lost. And you lost, bro. And it wasn't even Dave. Dave got the clips put on him. That's that's a sad that's a sad loss, Minnesota. That's a sad loss, bro. That's a really really sad loss for y'all, man. I cannot believe what I just saw. All right, so now we got one C versus eight C. Trey Young and Dejounte Murray trying to pull off the impossible, but you got the truth, JT, J, and JB. Uh, it's gonna be rough. But I've seen some crazier things today. So let's see what happens. Give me a close. I just want to walk, walk into one of these games and watch it, man. I don't know if this is going to be it, though. We got another third blowout, man. Three game sevens, three blowouts. If I'm an NBA fan at the crib, I'm disappointed. Because game sevens is where it's supposed to be super fun, super hot. It was not. Trey Young tried to do everything he could. But DeJounte didn't come out to play. And pretty much nobody did. Draymond Green didn't come to play at Well... I can't say that, Draymond. My fault. I ain't even look at the full stat line. He had, he gave you 6, 4, 5, and 5. That's a Draymond stat line, dog. That's why you traded for him, I guess. And he gave you what you wanted. You just didn't come through. So, lastly, we got Jokic. Pat Bet. Oh, my God. I forgot this team didn't even really bring anybody over. James Posey and Jawan Howard. Um, Let's get it. I'm actually getting self-conscious because I was reading through the comments of my last video and somebody said, Kenny, you touch your face too much. So I, I, I'm trying not to do I'm trying not to do it, but it's hard. It's hard not to. Okay, we got a close game. Or I can't read. That's dyslexia at its finest. I thought it was a close game. There was nothing close about that. There was nothing close about that. All right. Well, Jokic gave you an MVP caliber performance with Tyus Jones off the bench in a game seven. 17 minutes. 21, 5, and 4. Wow, that's huge. Okay, so the top seeds, three of the top seeds in this Western Conference got eliminated. And then out east, only one of the higher seeds, but it's a 4 5 matchup. So, you know what I'm saying? It's coin flip anyway. Actually, all of these series are coin flip. If you remember what I said about um, one game being the differentiator between the three and the seven seed. But here we go. This Lakers team is going to coast to the finals, ain't they? I mean, that. Portland don't really stand a chance, dog. They don't stand a chance. They did not stand a chance. Uh, Philly gets swept. AI, Joel Embiid, and James Hart. He fouled out. Come on, James. You know what they be saying about you in those big games, bro. You don't want to. You don't want to give them fuel to the fire. You kind of did by fouling out. Uh, they got swept by Boston again, right? Then they get swept in the bubble. Joel Embiid didn't play. Or did Joel Embiid play, but Ben Simmons didn't play? It was one or the other. I remember one of them being injured. I think it might have been Ben Simmons. We do have a game seven out, out there. 
So that's all oh, we got two of them. Beautiful. So this is Luka and Dirk versus Jokic and Jamal Murray. Okay, just the normal team. But they got Pat Bev at the two, which might be the answer or the reason why they plan. All right, Pat Bev is one of those dudes. He's a glue guy that's amazing at what he does. They're getting eliminated, though. I cannot believe we ain't really had an opportunity to jump into any game so far. I ended up being a 10-point game, and it was not even that close. Nick Van Axel, great off the bench. Um, surprise, low-key. Not to see more assists from Steve Nash, but, you know, you got Luka and stuff. Actually, they had a lot of team assists, less than this team. Um, and Jokic tried to do everything, but he did, everything was not enough. All right. This is a good series, bro. This is a good series. Now, again, on paper, the Nets look extremely better. But it's the Heat. I said the same thing about them versus the Bucs, and it didn't matter. So let's see. What team is going to see the Boston Celtics in the conference finals? Will it be Miami? Will it be Brooklyn? It's looking a lot of Brooklyn right now, but Miami got enough to potentially bring it back. It is close. Come on. Give us a game. Four points with a minute to go. Six points. Four points. It wasn't there. I know it was close, but it wasn't. It wasn't really there. It was a fake close. That was a fake close. I felt it. Jason Kidd. They used to call him Asin because he couldn't shoot. And guess what he did? This is pre-learning how to really shoot, low-key. Um, he hit six threes in a closeout game. Elite point guard play. Jimmy did what he could, but nobody stopped. Eddie Jones he should have took more shots. He was also turning the pill over like crazy and also fouling like crazy. All right, well, we got our conference finals. It is um, the, the Demigod Laker team versus Luka and Dirk and Steve Nash. And Steve Nash, forgot about that. And then Boston, who already took a one-game lead in this series. Um, Boston, I think you met a team that can hang Boston. That's all I'm saying. Through the first couple rounds, oh, you did go game seven with, with Atlanta, so Atlanta could hang too. But it seems like y'all have been one of the more dominant teams out there. I think that Boss or Brooklyn can hold their own. 2-2 series on both sides. 3-2 series. Game sevens on both sides, ladies and gentlemen. Give me one. Just give me one. This is beautiful for basketball. This is beautiful for basketball. Adam Silver is in his office grinning ear to ear because we got two game sevens. And it's not really that close. Boston's going home, baby. They had home court advantage, but ran into Kyrie, KD, and Kenya Martin. Ben Simmons and Jason Kidd both give you double-doubles with assists, which is fun. Um, Jason Kidd could not shoot this game, but hey, he was very good at getting his teammates involved. Game seven, we got Demigod Lakers versus Luka Dirk and Steve Nash. Uh-oh, will the Lakers fall? They got the MVP, plus Kobe. Plus Shaq and Anthony Davis. But they will not. Oh, that was the third quarter. That was the third quarter. And then just like that in the fourth quarter, they took off. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, I'll be recording these videos late at night. Y'all know this, bro. I, I guess I'm super tired. I thought we was in the fourth, dog. I thought that was the fourth quarter. It was not. We're getting Jason Kidd and Kobe, which is hilarious. Because the 2002 NBA Finals were these exact teams. So that's fun. Um, they, uh, the Nets got swept. But Jason Kidd to have Kevin Durant. This is this hopefully is a good series, bro. Give me a good series. Game one is going to be a Lakers win by a good chunk. Kobe and LeBron super efficient in their games. LeBron gets to the free throw line zero times. It's crazy. He also fouled out. Um... Yeah, they don't have a Shaq answer. Kind of was the problem in 2002 as well. Uh, honestly, nobody has a Shaq answer. But there's Bron. Sheesh. LeBron's going to win finals MVP, ain't he? 2-0 Lakers. Yes! Hey, I'm not saying I'm rooting against the Lakers. I'm rooting for a good series. TJ Warren in 14 minutes, giving them 12. And Kerry Kettles in 16, giving them 10. Those are big points and minutes off the bench. Uh, had a game where you stopped Kobe and Braun from taking off. Now, Kobe almost had a 5 by 5 But shooting-wise, not the best game. LeBron, shooting-wise, not the best game. 2 for 12, not great. Okay. 3-1 Lakers. 3-1 Lakers. LeBron and Kobe answer back with super efficient games. If LeBron cut all the three-point shooting out, I mean, he would have had a super efficient one. 
Dang. I said there was one team that was OP, and that team did it. Like, you can't put Kobe and Braun on the same team and be like, oh, there's a team that stands a chance. Oh, I forgot Prime Shaquille O'Neal on top of that. This team did it. Not, not surprised in the slightest, uh, but they, they did it. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. We're grinding all of NBA 2K23, so if you have a video idea, leave them in the comment section. I'm always down there looking for new stuff, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.